All right, gems, how are you? We're going to dive into your read and see what we have for you um, when it comes to your bonus. So if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the white tee. Um, if it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box as well. If you guys are ready for a personal read, go ahead and hit me up at the Terra at gmail.com. The channel name at gmail.com. We have three different offers available until the end of June. We, the first offer is the uh, $35 offer, which is for five questions. And then we have the $65 offer, which is for 28 minutes. Yes, you guys, 28 minutes for 60. We had the last, um, what is it? The last offer that was 65 for uh, 30 minutes, right? So, and then we have the $55 for 20 minutes, but now we have the $60 for 28 minutes and then we have the $70 offer for 38 minutes okay so I know you guys are loving this right now so if you guys want to set up an appointment and secure your slot go ahead and hit me up at the scene tarot at gmail.com all right so let's see what we have for you let's see what we have for you And I should say email me at Center because somebody, sometimes when I say it like that, you guys think I have a website. So not yet, not yet. I should create one, but not yet. I have, just hit me up by email at thecenterret at gmail.com. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Let's see what we have here. What's up? Gemini's energy. Gemini's energy. Spiritual energy. What is Gemini's spiritual energy? One more. here Ooh, number 23 a lot of you are definitely want to be free this is what i'm hearing a lot of you could be feeling stuck at the moment going through a lot of just information different information going through your mind different um downloads from your divine um definitely feel like you're in this defensive mode right now trying to defend to the very end you feel like this is worth it this is what i'm seeing here um a lot of you've been through a lot a lot of struggles trials and tribulations you definitely want a change okay um and this is what i'm seeing so there's a lot of conflicts and a lot of transitions happening for you gems within your bonus read that you're going through okay so let's see what this is for gems it's like you're getting messaged why am i seeing visions and dreams in these downloads energy it's like you're getting visions and dreams Ooh, okay. wow so you're going through a lot you're defending yourself defending yourself over and over again with other people um i feel like you're being too i might judge quickly or you're being misunderstood here um it's like you are trying to not have situations be f like falling out of control you're trying to secure you know some kind of peaceful transition here but these folks are thinking that you are being guided or guarded or hiding things, very shady energy, pointing fingers, you're not taking responsibility here. It's like this, um, and you're constantly defending yourself and defending your actions and why you're doing things this way, but they don't seem to understand. It's like you want to keep the peace. I don't see that you're trying to be a problem here, but there is going to be the sun at the end of the tunnel. For some of you, this is a sexual situation or some kind of intimate situation. I'm seeing the lovers here. I'm seeing your energy here. Queen of Wands. We also have the Gemini, the Gemini energy. Oh my God. Gemini is coming out again. The Magician, I should say. And you also have Virgo energy as well. Okay. So a lot of like energy of trying to make the right decision, trying to go... Um, to this place of peace and understanding and trying to just make sure that this is going to be a long lasting um, solution that you're trying to choose for yourself here. You don't want, you know, these experiences again. You want something that is actually real. 
now and you know this is why the magician is here you're definitely being entwined with spirit and being trying to be connected as much as possible the love is just moving a little bit too slowly for you for those of you who are wanting to be with someone and this could be an emotional level here with the cancer vibe energy i'm seeing number seven i'm seeing like this is just so many things that happen between you and this person and this is crazy how you have the 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 chariot in reverse and you have the ten of wands in reverse then you have the lovers here that is also in the upright so a lot of you are definitely with someone this is what i'm seeing because i'm picking up like there could be two different personalities here like someone is getting out of a relationship and because it was a burden it was like this um connection of manipulation and also um playing the victim like somebody was playing victimized and you know making you feel like you did something or you know crying all the time within the cancer energy and you're trying to like let this go but i'm also seeing like this um this this intense vibe of relationship that a lot of you are experiencing um now but you're just trying to protect yourself from this why is the queen of wands here yeah you're not ready to give this person an offer either you're not ready to call it anything <laughs> that's what i'm seeing here gems you're just trying to like really just focus on yourself at the moment and still enjoy yourself you know sexually with if it's if that's what the case is with this with this um with this new energy that you're exploring but it's causing a lot of problems falling into this connection this is what i'm seeing with the seven of wands a lot of you could be with this person for a very long time because i'm seeing wands here okay wands here and you're trying to let go of this relationship because you're saying that it's a burden you're saying that this relationship was a burden here okay so tell me more you're trying to do what's best for you that's what i'm picking up we have the hangman here as well we have the wow 11 11 in reverse we have the 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 five of wands in reverse we have the king of pentacles here wow so a lot of security is coming your way we have the sun as well what a beautiful energy within the sun happiness fulfillment youth playfulness so you know it's like you're you're choosing yourself you're trying to work with yourself within the queen of wands because the queen of wands for me as a reader is definitely that that nurturing kind energy but it reminds me of the sun as well you know your youth and how happy you are and so free and so vibrant and so beautiful and so attractive and you just can't help yourself you're just like drawn that's like how you're drawn to the sun um and you just need that sun in your life um on your skin around you to see within this physical world we need the sun right to live to to nurture this earth right to let this earth continue to grow and you know have this this beautiful um vibrant flowers and trees and oxygen and just oh my god everything right so um we need it for life and the same thing with the queen of wands here just kind of reminds me like that's your that's the most important thing for you is that sun <coughs> You always sneezing you guys two cats in the house <laughs> I can't help it at this moment don't matter how much filters I buy it's just <laughs> and still I'm just like no uh, it's not gonna happen um, then we have number 12 that I'm seeing here and then the hang hangman being here I'm also seeing number 19 number one a lot of you might be seeing these numbers I'm seeing number six as well number seven um number 23 okay with this beautiful spiritual guide of energy that you are in right now defend defend and now we know why you're in this defensive mode because you're trying to choose your best life for yourself and people are attacking you for moving on from something that is just not you don't feel like this it's not that you want to leave this behind this chariot this person whoever this chariot is is because you've been waiting for this person to change for so long but there is no movement there within this person's energy they're not changing you know um they're not coming towards you so this person could be stuck with someone else too so and you're kind of like moving on and someone is kind of like blaming you for moving on so let's see what this chariot is all about okay so you're waiting for this person to give you that king of cups and you're not willing to give um this new relationship anything like that either so let's see but you're not it's like 
you're just like this person you, you waited for too long and you realize that because you were waiting for them to give you that offer you're letting this go but you're kind of like into something new and you're not willing to dive right into that either yeah this was a tower moment between you and this cancer vibe I'm also seeing Aries and Scorpio. Those are energies that you're dealing with at the moment. I'm seeing some kind of power struggle there. This is why this relationship didn't work out as well. But it also, yeah, it's like someone that was very emotional was trying to use some kind of like victim energy. Like, oh my God, I'm the victim here, not you. Kind of trying to control this or control you. And you're like, you know what? Enough is enough of this situation. All right, so we have the two of wands here. So I'm definitely seeing that you're going to have to make a choice. <sighs> wow, look at that. You're going to have to make a choice. Not much choice here. This is not what I'm seeing, but the angels are saying, yeah, you're going to have to make a choice because, you know, you have been waiting for so long. For some of you been with this person that was a cancer vibe for 10 years or an Aries or Scorpio for 10 years. This is what I'm seeing here, holding on to this energy. And you're kind of letting go from this or 10 months. Or something like that or one no ten years ten months and you kind of like let go of this person and this energy sorry you guys my nose is running because I sneezed okay Pisces energy is also coming up here there's a conflict between you and this person oh my gosh it's like this person is like I'm not gonna sacrifice anything else this is what they're saying. They're not coming to you to sacrifice anything else of this relationship. They did all that they can do. I feel like someone is going to return in the future to try to solve some kind of problem, some, some kind of like words that was said, um, some kind of misunderstanding that was had here. <clears throat> then we have the sun energy. yeah you're going to have to decide i feel like you're going to it's like a shift of energy you're going through so much but then i'm seeing like stability i'm seeing like happiness i'm seeing like you're going to have to make a choice you're going to have options <laughs> you know it's like you're getting back everything that you feel like you have been lost or lost within this connection oh my gosh seem like a message like this message is going to be coming to you very very quickly maybe an Aquarius but it's Aries energy let's see what's going on for Gemini's bonus I'm seeing the three of pentacles here why is it three of pentacles here the Emperor is also here and the, the moon in reverse. Then we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have, wow, the Five of Cups. One more, please. So we have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands here. And in the end, it doesn't look so bad. And I'm going to explain why in a minute. But I have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. So we have this huge force, force of energy of like, I want to be success, successful and that's all that matters. But in, within this moment, within this moon, there is some kind of um, insecurities that was happening here and some kind of sign that you felt and you just knew that something was off here within this energy. And your divine was trying to let you know or speak to you within this moment and no one was really taking heed. Um, this is what I'm seeing, um, Gemini, is like you didn't really follow your intuition that was speaking to you throughout this. A lot of depression and stress and anxiety was fall into this energy. Um, 18, number 18, a lot of um, things being unfold now, a lot of secrets being unfold as well within the moon. You feel like this situation, this, this environment is just not safe. You can't trust, you can't let go. This is why you're just not feeling comfortable enough to give this person 
the stability in this relationship because you feel like you're in defensive mode, like you have to defend yourself all the time within the moon. You feel like people are attacking you left and right. You have the seven of wands, the five of wands here. You've been through a lot of physical aspects, a lot of physical battles with this energy. This is what I'm seeing also. And then the queen of swords, it's like this shut off, this shut off energy. Done with the nonsense. I'm not dealing with this right now. And you're just feeling like abandoned and alone and feeling like you will have this huge sadness over you. You feel like, you know what, you, you don't have any more options. You did all that you can do within the Five of Cups and there is nothing. Everything is spilled over. But it's like, that's not true, is it? You know, that's not true because you do have an option that you have to deal with. The funny thing is, you know, I've been picking up relationships like this for you um, because your last reading was kind of similar. <laughs> kind of similar. You might want to watch that because this right here is like two different energy as well that, that I'm picking up. Wow. <clears throat> I feel like with a lot of you, like you're manifesting, um, you're trying to manifest love you know, money, everything within your life, you know, opportunity, like you're manifesting your dreams here. But this um, collaboration or this got together, this person that you got together with, um, uh, it's going to be at work for those of you, or this could be someone that was introduced to you, um, to someone that you picked up from work or someone that you worked with before. This is how you met them. And they kind of introduced you to this person. And this person kind of caused a lot of um, conflict into your life. And I feel like this is a cancer vibe energy that you guys are dealing with. Because I'm seeing water based here, a lot of pointing fingers, a lot of like, you know, not showing their true colors as well. This is what I'm seeing here, you know, feeling crazy with this um, five of cups energy. Again, a water based energy, Scorpio. But in the end, there is some kind of information, like someone has some kind of new information, like they want to try this, they want to be successful with you, they feel like, you know what, you guys can have it all together, and as uh, long as you just heal and let things go, because I'm seeing like you're in this point of forgiveness and letting things go here, starting over fresh, building a life of abundance and happiness and just, you know, a, a huge legacy leaving a legacy behind could be a family could be a home could be money businesses and you're just like this is going to work out if you just let a lot of things go and don't hold on to the past that's what i'm picking up here on the back we have the ten of cups in reverse so someone is looking at this like not going to work out someone who wants to return Again, water-based energy, this is going to take time, even in the future. You have the temperance, so your angels have been watching all of this. Someone wants to live off of you or not give you what you're worth. Some kind of depression and stress and anxiety is coming up on the back, too. It's like you were, you're letting go from someone. This is what I'm seeing here. It's like a dim opportunity. Like, you see a dim opportunity here. You don't feel like you can do this. You don't have the strength within you to do this anymore. You're letting go of anything that this person have put upon you. A lot of fear within this relationship. So you just knew, like, something was going to come. Again, within the moon. Again, within the number 23. With this defensive, you know, energy that we start off with like you're defending to the very end defending yourself to the very end here okay letting go from this person the selfish person this person that was spending too much you know they spend a lot and they don't have anything to show for it Aquarius perhaps But I'm seeing like you're still dealing with this, this, whatever they have been spending or taking away from you. Again, you know, it's like you're still dealing with this. <sighs> this person has been unfaithful. Three. It's just so many things that's coming up here that you felt like, you know what, this person is always being victim, not taking responsibility within the moon, not ever going to tell you the truth. You know, you want to move on. I'm seeing you moving on here. Um... And you want a change, you know, it's all about a change here. But I feel like the message between you and this person is not yet 
learned. There's a huge message that you guys have to learn from each other that is not yet learned, but you felt like you're going up through a cycle over and over trying to learn this lesson. What is this lesson about? Okay, so I'm seeing the Two of Cups in reverse here. So that, that explains this water-based energy. A lot of you could have been with your um, this person that you look at as your one and only and you've been trying to work this out with this person for such a long time but you guys are in reverse and now you're seeing someone that is quite new this is showing up as a twin flame connection so this is going to have their own trials and tribulation it's not going to be anything it's not greener on the other side okay that's what i'm going to say to you at this moment um, you're going to still go if you're not going to experience it experience what you need to experience with the wheel of fortune being in the upright with your present person the wheel of fortune is going to come up into this twin flame connection which right now is like in the in opportunity is a rise with that situation but this is what i have for you gems for your bonus read be careful out there um you have so much going on here and just know that the angels are with you you're not alone uh, i i would recommend definitely focusing on your health um recommend focusing on your healing because that is coming up as a tempest is in reverse here like you need to focus and keep focusing on like healing and just choosing yourself you know because right now you're not choosing yourself this is what i'm seeing here but this is what i have this is what i have and i hope that it helps you um throughout this you know um week or this month or whenever you get this message knowing that all my messages are timeless okay so love you guys and i will see you guys in your next one bye guys